So by popular request, I'm finally doing my favorite hardest working sunscreens that I'm loving this summer. Um, so I really, it gets very hot and very sunny, like especially the last couple days. And every inch of my body has to be covered in sunscreen because I'm so sensitive to the sun. I think one of the blood pressure medicines I'm on makes me more sensitive to the sun. And after suffering from melasma and hyperpigmentation and all of how far it's, I've come in treating it, I'm not going to watch it go backwards and re-damage myself. So uh, anyway, so in my opinion, these are some of the best sunscreens uh, I look for. Ones that are sweat resistant is a big thing. Ones with multiple filters and ones that are great with UV protection. UVA specifically is the um, aging ray, which I think encompasses most rays. So these are my favorite hardest working sunscreens so far this summer. So first off, we've got the Anessa Perfect UV Sunscreen Milk SPF 50. I've got the one with Evie on it and her little booty. How cute is that? Anyway, so uh, I love this stuff. It does contain fragrance. Anessa also has several that are fragrance free. So if that's a big thing, uh, look for, I think a lot of them are mild, have mild in the title. And a lot of those are fragrance free. This one is a chemical mineral combo and it actually contains eight different filters. And when I wear this stuff, uh, there's nothing, nothing getting through. I mean, it's been so sunny out. And I, I typically, I use this one a lot on my arms and shoulders, uh, just because it's, you can hear that's a nice liquid give you a little but it's a really nice liquid sunscreen so uh, it tends to work well and cover my face and arms really quickly so there we go very nice waterproof and sweat resistant so if you're exercising a lot I recommend Anessa because most of their sunscreens have net technology to make them very water and very sweat resistant so well worth checking out this brand I will link to this below except I don't think they have the cute Pokemon face on them now. They've got a different character, not as cute as Eevee. Okay, next up, I've got, I hope they're not discontinuing this because this is uh, one of the, especially when it comes to K-Beauty sunscreens, one of the true, tried and true ones. The Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Watery Sun Gel SPF 50. They just came out with three new sunscreens, including one that's a hyaluronic sun gel. So I'm hoping they're not discontinuing it. So far, it's still on the website, so... Uh, anyway, um, anyway, so it's a chemical sunscreen. It also contains a lot of great antioxidants, which help protect your skin from free radical damage as well. It's fragrance free and it also contains six filters. So if you look at a lot of uh, American US sunscreens, a lot of them contain three filters and a lot of them that are just mineral ones contain obviously one or two. So when you have sunscreens with six filters or eight filters, it's impressive and it's something that can't be done in the U.S. because we don't have that many filters. So this stuff is wonderful. Okay, next up, this is a newer sunscreen, um, but I, I think it's pretty great for sensitive skin because it's fragrance-free. It also it doesn't contain any uh, drying types of alcohol. It also uh, contains some nice hydrating ingredients, and that's the Pecom Water Sun Cream SPF 50. It's a chemical sunscreen with five filters, and it's just really lovely. It's hydrating. It doesn't feel greasy. It feels nice. It, I don't dread applying it. It has no white cast. I did a full review of it if you want to check that out. I will link to this below. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite new sunscreens that came out this year and worth checking out. So never got tan or freckled using that one. Okay, next up, another sunscreen with eight different filters. Um... This one has a fragrance-free version. They also have a fragrance version, which is nice for people that don't mind scent. And they also have a tinted version, which is very orange. Uh, and that's the La Roche Pose UV Mune 400 SPF 50. So the version I have is obviously the fragrance-free version. It does have a decent amount of alcohol in it. Um, it helps it dry and set quickly, so I don't typically mind it. But it's not something I'll wear like 20 days in a row because it does get a little drying. But it's water and sweat resistant and eight filters. It's amazing. And I love the t It's super liquidy. I really enjoy it. I picked mine up from Care2 Beauty. Uh, the website Soin at Nature also carries this. I would be cautious buying this. I saw it pop up at Walmart. And I would be cautious and I wouldn't recommend buying it there. 
uh, if it's this exact same version because it's really not available in the U.S. because of it's got great filters in it. So obviously the U.S. doesn't want it here. Um, so if it's being sold at Walmart, just be careful because there's so many knockoffs. But the real deal, this stuff is amazing. And to be honest, it's been 90 and sunny out the last few days. This is one of the ones I've picked to use during those days. Okay, next up. This is another brand that has great stuff. The Roche Posay, they have such great sunscreens. This is another brand where they have a lot of amazing sunscreens. You almost can't go wrong with anything from these two brands because they don't mess around when it comes to sunscreens, and that's Bioderma. This is their Photoderm Cream uh, SPF 50. I have probably five or six sunscreens from Bioderma, and none of them have disappointed me. They all have great UVA protection. Uh, this one's water, heat, and humidity resistant, sensitive, skin friendly, no fragrance. Uh, it's chemical SPF with five different filters. You can't go wrong with it. I picked mine up from Care2 Beauty. They seem to be one of the few sites. So you got Care2 Beauty, Soynet Nature. I think there's uh, another site that sells sunscreens uh, in the U.S. Uh, what was the other one? There's, I think, three sites, but I can't remember the third one. Anyway, it'll come to me and I'll put it in the description. Anyway, okay. Next up, so you're supposed to reapply sunscreen every two hours. If you're not going to do that, unable to do that, unwilling to do that, this is the brand I'd recommend. Although I do recommend doing it because especially like sunscreens that are made in the U.S. with avobenzone, avobenzone degrades so much in the first hour. It really does need to be reapplied, but this one is not made in the U.S. This one's made in, uh, I think, Sweden or Switzerland, and that is EV SPF 50 mousse. They also have a kid's mousse, which is very similar. Sensitive, skin-friendly, fragrance-free, no denatured alcohol, chemical sunscreen with five different filters. Uh, so anyway, this one lasts pretty long, um, and they do mention you can wear put, put this on once a day and not worry. If you're not going to reapply, this is a good one because of the different filters they use aren't super photodegradable, which don't degrade super fast, but you still should reapply. But if you're not going to, this one is really nice to reapply over itself because of the texture, actually. So um, anyway, so this stuff's really nice. A couple more. Next up, so this is a newer brand, Hello Sunday. They have several different ones. Uh, the one that's a serum is my favorite, SPF 45. I use this under the UV camera, and this stuff was so, um, under the UV camera, it was almost more impressive than any other sunscreen. Um, a lot of them end up looking grayish. When I applied this under the UV camera, it was black, which indicates great protection. Uh, Fragrance-free, no denatured alcohol, chemical sunscreen with five different filters. This brand is really lovely. They have a lot of fragrance-free sunscreens. Um, not everything from this brand is a total winner, but I really enjoy this stuff, and it feels really light and lovely. Okay, last but not least, we've got the Alley Extra UV Gel SPF 50. I will link to it below at Yes Style. It's a chemical mineral sunscreen. It's fragrance-free. It does have some denatured alcohol in it, um, but it is really lovely. It applies very nicely, and it does offer some solid protection. I used it a lot last year, never ended up with any tanning or anything like that. So it's well worth checking out. I really enjoy this stuff. Um, and then two more just on the side I want to mention. Carbon Theory, their sunscreen is really nice. It has a little bit of a white cast, but um, not terrible. I think I picked mine up from Beauty Bay. And then Numbuzin, what is this? Their Pure Full Calming Water Sunscreen is also really lovely and well worth checking out. So um, anyway, so in my opinion, it's sunny. It's 90 degrees out. There's no clouds in sight. These are the sunscreens I'm choosing between, and just depends on what I'm doing that day, but typically if it's going to be super sunny out, um, one of the first ones I'm looking at, La Roche Posa UV Immune. If I'm going to be sweating, exercising, walking, running, I'm going with the EV. If I might not be able to get back to my car within a few hours, I'm going with the EV. Um, if I'm running errands and don't want to look super sweaty or gross, I'll go with the pea calm or something like that. So anyway, these are my favorites. Hardest working sunscreens this summer. Interested hearing from you guys if you have a favorite or one I didn't mention. Uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.